I feel like artists have different areas of their life. Mm. I'm in my bad bitch era. Like, I want to appeal to the bad bitch. Like. We have textured skin and a peach fuzz. So if you don't want to see that, don't continue watching. But if you do, let's begin. So you want to make sure you're starting off with a clean face. And then after that, I'll go in brushing up my eyebrows because that's the first thing I'm going to do today. To fill in my eyebrow, I use a pencil because it helps me navigate the shape of my brow better. And it's a little bit more easier for me to use. When using a pencil, I do light strokes in the way that my hair grows. And I'm also making sure that I fill in my sparse areas so that my eyebrows look a little bit more fuller. Once I get closer towards the top, I create a bottom line to create a gradual fade once I brush it out. Once I'm done brushing out my eyebrows, I just carve them out with my concealer. And if you're doing this, take your time because you don't want to mess up the shape. And now I'm just blending out that concealer with a flat brush. Um, when you're doing your makeup, you just want to take your time. Um, it looks like I'm going fast. It's because I've been doing this for a little minute now. I feel like I got it down packed. But if you're a beginner, you just take your time. I like to brush my eyebrow hair in place before I go in with the eyebrow gel to set them in place. So it didn't get me recording when I moisturized my face, but you want to actually use a moisturizer before you use your primers, um, just so you can have some extra um, moisture. After using the Grip Primer, I go in with the Poreless Primer because I have textured skin. I feel a lot of the times a lot of makeup artists or MUAs don't like to show what textured skin look like with makeup, and it's really a normal thing. All right, to hide my little dark marks and my little mustache, I'm going in with the Elf's Camo um, Color Corrector. Try not to use too much because you don't want it to show through your actual makeup. Um, but if you feel like you use too much, you can always use a beauty blender to blend it out or a concealer brush. So while I'm blending this out, I'm going to talk about why I do my makeup kind of backwards. So I found out that I do not like liquid foundations. Um, I feel like it makes my face look heavier and cakey and then also I don't like how heavy it feels. So if you're like me, try to invest into a powder foundation. Um, I know it's not really talked about a lot, but if you don't like the heaviness of a uh, liquid foundation, a powder foundation is really good. The only thing that you have to do differently is you will apply your um, concealer and your creams first. So I typically use two shades of concealer, one being a darker shade and one being a semi-lighter shade. Um, I put the darker shade on the outer of my face so that I can make my skin tone even. And then I'll blend that out with my flat brush and then I'll go in with a concealer brush to blend it in flawlessly. So I always use my flat brush first to smooth out the concealer because I used to have a problem of moving my concealer everywhere on my face and then I would have to apply more concealer then my face would look so cakey but once I use that flat brush and then go in with a beauty blender or a concealer brush it makes the blend so flawless and you won't have any harsh lines Alright, so now we're going to place that lighter concealer underneath our eyes and only underneath our eyes because you don't want it to be too bright anywhere else. And y'all, make sure y'all having fun. Like, listen to some music, take your time. Do not feel like you got to rush. When I first started to learn how to do my own makeup, I was looking crazy, y'all. Like, I was really looking crazy out here in these streets. I was watching influencers, trying to like do the same exact thing that they were doing. Yes, the tips help, but I think I wasn't catching the point that they were just enhancing their own beauty. 
when you keep practicing your makeup, you'll realize that some of the ways that the influencers um, do their makeup may fit their face shape, but it might not fit yours. So you can just tweak things up a little bit. So I'm using my bronzer as my contour and I'm just doing that underneath my cheekbones and underneath my chin so that my face can match my neck. And then also it is buildable so you're not going to look like too harsh. This is going to be like a subtle type of thing. Also I barely contour my nose. I literally just put it at the bridge and then the tip of my nose but it's not very harsh. Um, I don't really like the harsh look. So for the setting powder, I'm literally just patting it underneath my eyes and I'm going to keep doing that for the blend and then I'll put it underneath my mouth, on my chin and my forehead. Alright, for the harsh lines, I'm literally going back in with my foundation on the outer parts for the blend and then I'll go in with a beauty blender to smooth everything out. Alright, for blush, I'm literally just using the same eyeshadow palette. I haven't found a good blush yet i know there's a lot of them that are very pigmented but i have a heavy hand so i don't really like to use anything that you know i can create a mess with so this is a little bit more easier for me but i still want to find a blush out there so if you guys know any blushes let me know and with the set of powder i'm just literally going down the bridge of my nose and patting that in and that's my contour i don't really do too much and then now i'm just adding my little beauty marks and trying to get the right placements. Now let's get into this mascara. Do y'all see the actual difference? Like, that is crazy. Ooh, both lashes done. And then if you ain't making this face doing your bottom lashes, I do not trust you. This is the... This is a certified face to do your bottom lashes, but yeah. Now that I am complete in the red lip, this will be the finished look. So let me know if you guys like this and also let me know if y'all want to see any other looks that I can do for you. Oh,